So, on my first playthrough of Elden Ring Shadow of the Erd Tree DLC, I managed to get to the final boss, aka Consort Radon, and let's be honest, I was struggling. This was arguably the toughest boss I'd ever fought in any game in history, but the interesting thing about Elden Ring's bosses is that they're all difficult when it's your first time, and the way you learn on how to beat them is often through death itself, and I died, oh did I ever die, a lot. 357 times to him specifically to be exact. I tried summons but all that did was create some distraction, yet his health bar would increase in size to balance out the difficulty, although I will admit having a distraction alone is arguably the only need for a summon in the first place as that allows you to back up, reset, and try again right in the middle of the fight. So in beating him in my first time around and dying hundreds of times, respecting my character twice, farming, and dying some more, eventually I got the job done, but not without the help of my mimic here. But wait, I know what you're thinking. But Frog, why don't you just solo him? Well, after defeating him once, I immediately was not satisfied and I wanted my rematch as a solo, not just against him, but against all of the Shadow of the Erd Tree's bosses. But for this video, I'll primarily be focusing on Radon only A, so you can check out the build I used to defeat him as a solo, and B, well, because I want this in my YouTube history simply for the memory. Now, into the build I eventually used to fight Radon. Firstly, my stats. It's important to note that I am on New Game Plus Plus, aka it's my third total playthrough of the game, but second total playthrough of the DLC only. I have the maximum of 20 scattered tree fragments, so that's important to know. But first, you might be wondering, why 99 Arcane? Well, this leads into the weapon we'll be using, so we'll jump to that right after. But note, if this is your first time playing, 60 will probably be lots, but the higher the Arcane, the better. Strength will not be needed other than to carry your overall loadout, but the second majority of your leveling should go into dexterity, then I recommend a high vigor and endurance. The rest is up to you, but those are the stats so you can replicate as close to this as you need to, and just wait until you see what we can do with all this. Now for the loadout, speaking of that 99 arcane, the reason I scaled that so high is because the weapon we will be using is the Blood Fiend's arm equipped with the Crag Blade. This scales my blood damage all the way up to 208, which is insane for a blood weapon. And I shit you not, we will be causing bleed damage to Radon on every third hit. Get that arcane as high as you possibly can and just watch the magic happen. It's, it is just nuts. We will then be equipped with Godric's Great Rune. And for the Talismans, we will be using the Shard of Alexander to boost the power of the Crag Blade. This one I'd swap out if you'd like to use something better, but keep the rest for sure. The next one is the Axe Talisman to boost charged attacks. Then we have the Two-Handed Sword Talisman to enhance attacks with two-handed weapons. And lastly, the Lord of Blood's Exaltation to even further increase damage when blood is in the vicinity. As for my Physic, I've equipped myself with the Crimson Bubble Tier, which will give me my health back when slash if my health reaches near death. And the second one is the Stone Barbed Crack Tier, which enhances stance breaking to knock Radon the f*** out. Or even more buffs will be using Golden Val, the Howl of Shabriri, and Flame Protect Me. Side note, I have no idea how Flame Protect Me even works, but apparently it just negates all damage or something along those lines. Even though it says it's just for fire, I have no idea, so maybe this isn't needed. Oh, and I almost forgot, the armor set we'll be wearing will be the Rakshasa's Greaves, Gauntlets, and Chest Armor along with the White Mask. Every piece of armor on this set will actually make it so that you take more damage, but you will in turn also deliver more damage. So in order to reduce the amount of damage that you're actually taking, instead of using the helmet piece, what I I decided to do was throw on the white mask instead because the white mask actually works like the lord of blood's exaltation talisman and where you deal more damage when blood is in the vicinity albeit it does work on a bit of a smaller scale anyway with all this in store we're now on to the main event here's everything in action not really any such thing as tanking through it with this lodo but I wonder if I throw the blood sucking crack tier on? What is happening? My guy just gestured. I just wasted like three seconds. Damn it. Come on, man. Delete ass inputs, man. Not good when he starts like that.
That's the perfect start. That's what I usually look for. Stun. No. Stun. Yes. I think this is it. Oh, he's going down. <gasps> no! 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 Where is he? Get f***ing wrecked! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I even survived the nuke. Let's f***ing go, man. F yeah. Well, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I had a ton of fun making it, but if you did enjoy, please drop a comment down below, leave a like, and subscribe if you want to see more content like this in the future.